basic area of research is in theoretical quantum mechanics. I do a lot of uh, looking at modeling and developing models and developing uh, high performance implementations of those models and applying them to generally interesting scientific questions. Well, I hope that one of the basic skills they get is critical thinking. I want them to be able to look at something and say, that makes sense, that doesn't make sense, or I'm not sure, and I need to figure that out. Um, so, because sometimes in our computations, things just go kind of, you'd think it would go straightforward and easy, but sometimes they just go a little off the rails. And so just like an experiment can have some sort of glitch that throws it off, maybe you added extra light that you didn't intend, or maybe there's heat that you didn't intend to be in the reaction or something, or something's not clean in your flask, sometimes in our computations, things will go wrong. There'll be a memory glitch, there'll be, uh, maybe the user put in an input parameter that wasn't right or whatever. I want them to be able to say, the result that I got makes sense. In, you know, when I compare it with everything else that I'm looking at, it makes sense, right? Um, so problem solving, being able to, to suss out interesting details, data analysis. Um, in my group, they also learn a lot of mathematics and computer science. Um, I, you know, it's great if someone comes in with those skills, but we do a lot of training. I've got a whole series of tutorials that to build people up to you know, being able to do the high performance computing stuff that we do in our, our lab. So almost all of my projects are collaborative, either with people here on campus or people uh, throughout the United States. Um, I've got a really big collaboration, this NW Chemex project out with the high performance computing. Uh, that invo involves five national laboratories and educational institutions. They're throughout the whole uh, nation. So, you know, I, and we need every single one of them to be successful. Um, my other collaborations have been with, I've got uh, Molecular Sciences Software Institute that I'm the deputy director of, and uh, the collaboration with MOLSI involves six different academic institutions, and um, it's really great because the, that particular uh, project is actually all about collaboration, outreach to other organizations. It's a service project where we're trying to teach other people how to have really excellent best practices in software development um, and how to build really modular, interoperable software. So it's one of my passions is, is that kind of a project. Um, I have collaborations experimentally. That's almost all of the application work we do has some uh, experimental collaborator because I feel like we should be trying to solve real world problems. Uh, you know, I can come up with all kinds of interesting molecules to look at just in theory, but if, if they can't be made experimentally, it's not so much fun. It's evolved throughout the years because uh, I was raising children and I now have grandchildren and um, you know I, I believe firmly that you need to have the, that kind of um, a holistic life and so I sort of think of work-life balance now as a seesaw right you would like everything to be even but in reality it never happens that way right it kind of swings this way and then it swings that way and it swings so ultimately i think on average you kind of want to have everything so that that you know it's sort of even but honestly priorities to me are family right uh, research is great work is great but priorities family and i really i think that's really important that we respect people's priorities Advising, I take a mixed approach. I like to meet with all my students at least once a week uh, just to make sure things are on track and sometimes it's a five minute mini meeting, sometimes it's an hour or more meeting, just kind of depends on the needs of the student. Um, but my door is always open. Yeah, so I'm looking for, for solid foundation, curiosity, uh, ten tenacity to at least to some extent um, and then you know just just quick
questioning. Curiosity is like the core of what I, why I'm in science. Uh, if I wasn't asking why about everything, I would probably be in a different field. So I have students in all different kinds of walks of life now. Uh, it's been really interesting. I've got one who is a postdoc with me who decided to go be a culinary artist. Um, and so that was, that was an interesting transition. I've got people working in industry and that's at chemicals, chemical industries as well as computer uh, industries. I have people who've gone into academia. I've got, had people that have um, decided just to get a master's, for example, and go into computer science. Um, so my goal, as with, my goal with my students is to get them on the right path for their career goals. And so I don't like have any specific, you know, you must be an academic, you must be an industry. I, I really feel strongly that students should be allowed to evolve and, you know, you should support them in whatever direction they need to go. I love ISU um, and I love the Midwest. I grew up in the Midwest and I'm a Midwest girl. I like small towns, um, but I, Iowa State actually has the best of both a big town uh, feel and a small town feel. We have concerts that come through, we have all kinds of different kinds of groups. If you love sports, of course, we've got football and basketball and swimming and volleyball and all of those kind of things, uh, both to watch and to participate in. Um, and it's just beautiful here. And the people are nice. Uh, you know, we don't always agree on everything, but a lot of people here really respect differences of opinions, and I really enjoy that, where you can have a real discussion about topics instead of, you know, having arguments. <laughs> so, uh, I, I really just enjoy it here. Mm -hmm.